Alan Xi, President Huawei Cloud Middle East Central Asia region. Thank you for joining us here at Econa Middle East. It's my pleasure. Now, could you start by telling us what are some of the primary products and solutions that are being showcased by Huawei? And actually, that uh, as you can witness in today our Cloud Summit and also in JITEC event, uh, we are providing in general that uh, private cloud services, we call it Huawei Cloud Stack, and also the public cloud service offerings. And for the public cloud service, and uh, we are covering infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and also the uh, some the software as a service. Uh, when we are talking about industry solutions for government, education, financial services, and retail, e-commerce, uh, OTT gaming, etc. When we are talking about technologies, and uh, we are talking about like uh, the computing storage networking services, but also the database. Uh, data analytics, IOTs, and AI, and all the different uh, kind of blockchain and uh, industry solutions. And for Huawei Cloud Stack is an on-premises solution, and we are providing to the uh, the, the uh, required customers, especially for data sovereignty, for local uh, operation and management, such as government, such as large enterprise, and the leveraging with our most comprehensive service portfolios from public clouds. Even on-premises, we can provide uh, virus and the uh, and cloud services uh, to our customers. And how does uh, Huawei plan to uh, accelerate cloud action in the Middle East? What strategies and solutions are you implementing to cater unique needs of businesses here in the region? Uh, actually, that we believe um, our Huawei cloud slogan is everything as a service. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, if I define that, that there are uh, three layers uh, of this concept, and the, the first, we are talking about infrastructure as a service. And the, uh, we want to uh, build a global uh, network and the providing the same quality of services, the same uh, variety of cloud services uh, all in all the countries and in all regions. So uh, in Middle East and the Africa region, we have actually four public cloud regions. Uh, one in Saudi Arabia, uh, we have one in Turkey, one in uh, Egypt, and one in uh, South Africa. And we are planning, we also do have some plans and for UAE in the coming future. So uh, this is to make sure that we have low latency, uh, extra performance, and uh, you know abundant, uh, varied uh, the cloud services and uh, close to our customers in the region. And at the same time that uh, we are talking about technology as a service, which means that um, we are not just bring the uh, traditional, you know, uh, infrastructure as a service to our customers. We make sure that uh, we leveraging with our uh, technologies, Huawei, a big ICT portfolio. Uh, we can also provide uh, data services like database, like, uh, you know, big data and AI services uh, based on the data strong data engine. We also provide uh, the uh, dive up environment for developers. We also provide uh, Meta Studio solutions like for the medias, you know, uh, to provide media solutions, which means that uh, uh, we are providing Atom uh, cloud services, Atom level cloud services uh, to our customers to make sure that uh, they are always getting the cutting edge uh, latest technologies uh, at the first time. And we also say that expertise as a service, which means that the cloud, um, we are providing cloud is just a digital infrastructure, actually to address the business challenges for our customers. So how to solve those business challenges? And you need to have uh, vertical know-how. You need to have industrial solutions. This is where we are leveraging uh, with our you know ecosystem in China, in Asia Pacific rest other parts of the world, and also local SaaS partners. And we're also leveraging with the industry successful experience and practices in so many different countries. And we're leveraging and cooperating with our local partners to make sure that you really get uh, what your business needs in the end. And could you give us some more region-specific successful digitization cases where Huawei Cloud has been integrated to your uh... Uh, customers? Well, uh, we started our cloud business uh, not too long ago. 
and uh, actually we launched our public origin in uh, Riyadh uh, late last year. Uh, we also have some, uh, you know, uh, cloud uh, installations and the uh, uh, in UAE. So that uh, uh, maybe I can uh, give you some of the, uh, you know, successful uh, practices and projects uh, in different industries. Like the, like for example, the like in media industry, we are now providing solutions to end-to-end uh, -end media solutions to Start Play, which is a very well-known, you know, a, the OTT player in the region. And also that, uh, like for the e-commerce platforms and the and the retail, uh, we are offering services to um, uh, one of the important, famous, a new. Uh, e-commerce platform in uh, Saudi Arabia, we call it Zod. And also that uh, if you know Meituan or Kita, the latest food delivery, the biggest number one food delivery company in China, now they are also running their uh, services on Huawei Cloud in Saudi for their Saudi and region business. And also for governments and large enterprise, there are, we have many uh, cases, uh, not only in Saudi, but in UAE and the uh, also, the uh, national cloud in Oman and uh, government cloud in uh, the countries like Uzbekistan and the and uh, and also Iraq. So uh, this is when we are, when we are talking about large enterprise, we also have uh, cooperation with uh, like some big utility companies and for the smart grid uh, AI solutions, which is already uh, in the implementation phase. Mm. So um, there are also some other like fintech uh, space and the fintech industry and the banking industry. Uh, we are working, we are providing, uh, we are now serving almost 10 fintech companies in Saudi and UAE and also Pakistan. And uh, we also, we will launch a fintech cloud in Pakistan very soon. So uh, this is just to brief you like large enterprise governments, fintech, and the financial services, uh, e-commerce, retail, and gaming companies. Uh, one of the most famous game companies and uh, also the shooting, gun shooting game companies are also running their services on our region. And the, uh, because after they test all the uh, cloud service providers and they found out we have the best uh, latency, less than 20 milliseconds uh, for the for Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and also for the region. So, um, last year our revenue growth was ten times, comparing when, with uh, 2023. Now we are serving, providing services to uh, more than 300, almost 300 customers in the region. And as cloud services grow, so does the concern for privacy and cybersecurity. Now, what's Huawei doing to ensure that security and protection? And customer data is uh, stored and maintained in the proper way. Mm, so that's why we have you can you can see uh, that Huawei we have the <clears throat> the probably the largest number of cloud regions in the region uh, in Middle East and Africa. As I mentioned, that we already have four and we are planning more. And uh, so this is to uh, make sure that when we are providing services to some sensitive customers or data sovereignty customers uh, we have the uh, server we have the data and the service uh, localized fully localized and as so as, as I also mentioned the Huawei cloud stack is also uh, 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 another important solutions uh, for the on-premises uh, demand and the uh, we are complying to cyber security and the uh, is our number one uh, priority in Huawei and uh, we have good experience in cybersecurity. And the, uh, uh, for cloud, it's not only cybersecurity. We also provide uh, the tenants, security uh, services. We provide network uh, operation and data security services. And we commit to that uh, with, um, uh, with, our, with our SLA. And the, when we're talking about for the local market, like we launched Saudi region and we got the class C license in just three months. Uh, after the auditing from uh, CST and the uh, NCA in Saudi Arabia and the, uh, that 
so that's to guarantee that we are we can host the top confidential data on our cloud. We're also complying with other you know cybersecurity and the national security data security standard in other countries in UAE, in Pakistan, and also in uh, Gulf countries and the Central Asia countries. Alifi, thank you very much indeed for your insights and thank you for joining us here at Economy Release. It's my pleasure. Have a good day.